leadership. In today's world of business and entrepreneurship, continuous improvement in quality, governance and sustainability is playing a major role in shaping the future of any organization. Our society structures, which is the economic value of the company, we are playing a key role for development achievable. The 23rd World Congress on Leadership and Quality of Governance and the presentation of the Golden Peacock Awards with the theme The Challenge of Integrating Leadership and Quality of Governance for Sustainability was hosted by the Institute of Directors. Expanding its business and applications abroad. Ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure in welcoming you today. This achievement by the IOD has been entirely possible because of the overwhelming support and encouragement that we have been receiving from the private corporates, business and industry, the state government of Karnataka, and the PSUs from all across India. This has enabled the IOD to grow from strength to strength with each passing year. On the occasion of the 23rd World Congress, I would like to extend my heartiest felicitations and greetings to all of you. As you are all aware, IOD was established in 1990, and since then, it has been bringing in a silent revolution in the boardroom and a greater awareness amongst the corporates on various aspects of corporate governance and leadership for sustainability. Now, uh, invite to the, for the formal opening address, Lieutenant General G.S. Aluwalia, great pleasure for me also as the president of Institute of Directors to welcome you all for this two days uh, conference on a very important uh, theme which has already been said but mainly it is because of the problems that we have had because of the downfall because of the number of uh, organizations which forced attention to corporate governance for the last 15 years nearly now and it has moved on to sustainability. From corporate governance, talked of number of things, it is still to take a proper shape and say what it is, people are talking about it, whether it is a law, whether it is a rule, whether it is on principles and how we should be implementing it. And as far as sustainability is concerned, because an overall integrated holistic picture is required for the corporates to move on, to sustain for a long term. The Institute of Directors, which was set up in 1990, had only one purpose in view, that was to become an association of corporate directors, see how they can be updated, kept around the world, how they can be networking. So basically two purposes, networking and training of directors. These are the two main purposes of the establishment of IOD. The business directors were given masterclass solutions by IOD through its training sessions to give shape to what it means to govern for the improvement of quality across an organization. We have been affected quite a lot by the scarcity through which we have gone through for centuries. Leadership must be about the continuity of our society and hence the sustainability and the governance comes in. So I think the good thing here this year is that we are talking about much more than just profit and compliance. I think the theme of this year's event, which is on um, leadership and the quality of government for sustainability, is absolutely relevant for today's world. Sustainability is absolutely essential for all of us in that if everyone wants to, to live at the standards of people, say, in North America, then the planet just doesn't have the resources to support that. So you know, if we're going to have a, a reasonable quality of life in the years ahead, then all of us need to, to think about sustainability and do what we can, probably, ultimately, to live simpler, simpler lives. The intense training sessions also helped ensure betterment in quality of governance for sustainability. Sustainability in its essence is, is long term. It means can we sustain something for the long term? And 
too much of business in the past few years has been short-term gains. You know, many of the mantras like maximize shareholder value, which sounds like it could be a long-term aim, have been interpreted in the short term. That's quarterly results, my results this year, and it's, it's resulted in everyone thinking short term. So for long term, that means you can sustain it over a long term, and that means many of your decisions have to be about the long term. And you've got to have also vision, and this is where the role of leadership comes in, because a leader has to have vision. He has to see all the implications, not only for his company, his country, but how it, how it will be in the long term. Now that kind of vision, you can only have, in my own experience, if you come still in yourself and not be so working up. It's not going to be something that you're going to calculate things and you're going to be able to project your five-year plan. You have to step back and see things in a bigger way. When you talk of sustainability, what we are trying to say there is the fact that we should use the resources very judiciously and when we use the resources, we should also try to ensure that we create uh, uh, the resources more uh, in quantum than what we use. IOD India's exceptional Golden Peacock Awards honored nominees in 12 different disciplines. No business award today receives the kind of recognition and adulation among the peers that the Golden Peacock does. Responsible competitiveness brings out the best in individuals and organizations. And it has been amply proven by the Golden Peacock Go uh, Awards, national and global awards, which have been instituted over two decades ago. Today, they are recognized worldwide as the hallmark of excellence and have earned and achieved much affection, admiration, and adulation. I have great uh, privilege and uh, I'm very honored to have Justice M. N. Venkatchalaya, our national chairman, to be here this evening and uh, to give away this uh, award till we have the Deputy Chief Minister join us. So we shall start with this. I would uh, start with the first one, that is the Distinguished Fellowship Award. I would just like Dr. R. Sitharaman, the group CEO of Doha Bank, Qatar. I would like, even his wife is here from Qatar, I would like her also to come up. great honor conferred on me. With the changing face of the world, changing face of the financial service, sustainability is the name of the game. As a financial institutions, whether lending or uh, investments, we want to contribute for environment development, eradication of poverty. Again, making sure we add a corporate social responsibility as a structured solution. And uh, Doha Bank has been recognized for this purpose. I've been part of the fraternity and I'm privileged to run as an Indian uh, to to have a global uh, financial institution well uh, set for its professional mission. The next is the MetLife Global Operations Support Center in the BPO category. Mr. C. V. Ramanan, Vice President, Strategic Establishment in Human Capital Global Operations Support Center, and his colleagues. So we're getting the Quality Excellence Award in so far as the BPO segment is concerned. Quite obviously that's in recognition for our sustained superior performance, customer centricity and our ongoing focus on quality. So IRD is doing some deep work around leadership development and in terms of trying to sustain this for all corporates. Um, and obviously quality is very high in their agenda. And I think at uh, MetLife GOSC we are similarly 
uh, position to take leadership in terms of our quality efforts and try to sustain that right through the organization. We do believe in continuous improvement and in terms of sustaining this right through. We have a culture of learning and we try to sustain the quality as well as the performance from that track, learning and then gaining on that. Next is Tata Motors Limited Customer Support CVBU. This is a sector uh, automobile service. It's uh, Sanjeev Gurg, Global Head Customer Care. Tata Motors has won the award for the commercial vehicle business unit for the training. We are providing the integrated training from the very rookie to the owner of the workshops. And Tata Motors currently has 2,000 plus workshops in India and abroad. And we are basically making sure that the whole manpower what we provide in the workshop is fully trained. And for that we have around 7 training centers, around 15 to 20 regional training centers. And apart from that, Tata Motors is running a big CSR program where we take the fresh ITI graduates and train them into our 100 ITIs which we have adopted. And then we have four driver training institutes where we train the drivers which are the rare commodity now to make sure that they drive the trucks more carefully and more safely and securely on the roads. So Tata Motors is leading this initiative in a big way to make the country totally dependent on our own internal workforce as we go further to train and make them automobile experts. Next is the Ambuja Cements Limited in the cement sector. And Mr. Chanchal Kumar, President and Unit Head, Suli and Rauri and his colleagues may kindly come. We feel, uh, on behalf of Ambuja, we feel highly thrilled after getting this award. And uh, to be very frank, uh, as far as IOD is concerned, uh, they have initiated us. They have more energized us like anything. Uh, that we will do more and more uh, on the aspects of training. Say, we are having a very unique concept of training. We believe that everybody is a trainer as well as a trainee. Right, just as in the country, say, a, uh, a training is needed from Prime Minister to a PN. In our company, we believe the training is needed from managing director to a contractual labor. Next, in the petrochemicals category, Reliance Industries Limited, Nagothan Manufacturing Division. Mr. Avinash Shrikhande, President and his colleagues. The Lions Industries Limited Nagothani Manufacturing Division is delighted to receive this national award for quality on, from Golden Peacock given by I, IOD. Uh, as you all know, Reliance has been a pace setter in setting up uh, mega projects in the country. We are into business of energy and petrochemicals and uh, these processes involve a lot of hazards. So sustenance has become very important. Corporate governance becomes very important. The two of the major themes, what uh, we are looking at is the process safety management. Reliance has taken a lot of initiatives in the last uh, 36 months in, in the field of process safety management, mm -hmm. uh, which are unparalleled in the country. And uh, the people who manage these mega assets of Reliance, they become very important. So. On this issue, EVP, that is Employee Value Proposition, is another major focus area of what we are doing in Reliance mm -hmm. to ensure that this uh, sustainability, sustainability remains. Next goes to Ludhiana Beverages Private Limited. In the food and beverages category, Ms. Shalini Goenka, Exit Director and her colleagues. Ludhiana Beverages won the Golden Peacock National Quality Award. Rudhana Beverage is one of the Coca-Cola uh, franchisee operated botting operation of Coca-Cola in India. And uh, we got this award in quality as like, you know, we have significantly improved our quality scores, uh, product quality.